This is the Daily Prayer Video for Friday, March 24th, 2023. From Trinity United Methodist Church in beautiful downtown Prince Frederick, where I, Jack Woodford, serve as a certified lay minister. Please open your Bible to the Gospel of John, chapter 9, and I'll be reading from uh, verses 35 to 41. This is the gospel lesson from last Sunday's lectionary scriptures. Uh, Pastor Rob preached uh, from that passage here at Trinity, and I also preached on it as a guest preacher at Huntingtown United Methodist Church. Jesus heard that they had thrown him out. And when he found him, he said, do you believe in the Son of Man? Who is he, sir? The man asked. Tell me so that I may believe in him. Jesus said, You have now seen him. In fact, he is the one speaking with you. Then the man said, Lord, I believe. And he worshipped him. Jesus said, For judgment I have come into this world so that the blind will see, and those who see will become blind. Some of the Pharisees who were with him heard him say this and asked, What? Are we blind too? Jesus said, If you were blind, you would not be guilty of sin. But now that you claim you can see, your guilt remains. You may have heard Pastor Rob's message Sunday as he stated the passage is about sin or who sinned. I put a slightly different twist on the message that I preached last Sunday. This healing takes place as a result of a question. Normally, Jesus would respond to a question with a story or a teaching of some kind. The question is back up in verse 2, and it reads, His disciples ask him, Rabbi, who sinned, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Why would the disciples ask that question? Well, the answer is in the Old Testament, and in several places. One of them is in Exodus, verse 20. Chapter 20, verse 5. And it says, You shall not bow down to them or worship them. For I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God, preaching, punishing the children for the sin of the parents to the third and fourth generation of those who hate me. And another place is in the book of Numbers, chapter 14, verse 18, and it reads, Yet he does not leave the guilty unpunished. He punishes the children for the sin of the parents to the third and fourth generation. The question was about sin, but Jesus responded, Neither this man nor his parents sinned. Part of his response to the question is to heal a blind man that was blind from birth. He says that this man in this moment is given to show the presence of the power of God. And then he bends down and gets dirt and then spits in it to make a paste that he rubs on the man's eyes. That might seem odd, we think, but not to the first observers of this little cir circus. They would have been appalled. Dirt is, well, dirt. And spit is worse than dirt. Add to that messy mix that this is taking place on the Sabbath. Most of the rest of the text after the healing is an argument about whether Jesus really healed the man or if it was 
some sort of trick. Jesus said in verses 39 to 41, For judgment I have come into this world so that the blind will see and those who see will become blind. Some Pharisees who were with him heard him say this and asked, What? Are we blind too? Jesus said, If you were blind, you would not be guilty of sin. But now, but now that you claim you can see, your guilt remains. The last few verses remind me of these words. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. These words are in the first verse of the hymn, Amazing Grace. The words to that great hymn were written by John Newton. And John Newton was the captain of a slave ship that transported slaves from Africa to the Americas. The slaves were held in bond, bondage in the hull of the ship. And the s slaves would do some melodic chanting, uh, chanting melodies from the melody of the belly of the ship. Following John Newton's retirement from the slave trade, he became a Christian and later became a, a clergyman, serving as a pastor in various churches. Throughout his life, it was during this time as a clergyman that he wrote Amazing Grace, which has since become one of the most popular hymns in, in the world. The sheet music for the hymn Amazing Grace says that the words of the hymn were penned by John Newton and the melody unknown. That mel melody may have been the chanting of the slaves that, cha that were chained in the belly of that slave, slave ship that John Newton was the captain of. That melody may have well been a song in his head for many years. When I get to heaven, I hope to meet that person unknown. God used that person to compose some of the most powerful melodies for some of the greatest hymns that we have today. Will you pray with me? Father God, I thank you for what Jesus did to heal and to open the eyes of the blind man that day. Father God, help us to open our eyes so that we all can see what you want us to see through the light of Jesus Christ. Amen. As Pastor Jim always tells us, never forget that wherever you are and whatever you are doing, that Jesus is walking with you. And if you look around and listen, you might see and or hear that person that we call unknown singing or hum, humming a melody. Amen.